Founded in 2005 in Beijing, Bruce Lee Gallery has been introducing Chinese artists to the global art scene for over 10 years. Now continuing its vision to bring more Chinese artists to a broader audience, the gallery is expanding to New York City with a new space in a landmark townhouse in the Upper East Side in Manhattan. Marking the opening is the group exhibition titled Uncharted Water, featuring both established and emerging Chinese artists, including Zhang Peili, Zhao Gang, Zhang Hongtu, Zhang Wei, Ma Kelu, Lin Yilin, Fang Lu, and Miao Ying, all of whom have lived or are still living in New York. Their diverse artistic practices characterize the evolution of Chinese contemporary art from the early 80s to today. A nice quote of one of the artists uh, is we went to uh, New York and it was very, very challenging and, and uh, we did a lot of um, uh, uh, things and uh, we collected a lot of experiences. It changed our career, it changed the way we were making art, but also it changed uh, art in China and the production of art in China. Coming to New York City in different stages, the experience of cultural dislocation that the artist encountered led to the artist exploring the topic of war and barrier. Lin Yilin's video piece, My Imagination of a Great Nation, documents his performance of swimming in the air between a concrete wall. Having the body stuck in wall while attempting swimming movements reflects the struggles and hard work of immigrants. To evoke the mentality of the technological age, Fang Lu's video works, My Classmates, and Cinema simulate real-life experiences by filming protagonists whose barriers in life are technological ones between people. Miao Ying transforms images which the state's firewall keeps from being circulated or freely consumed. With the young artist that moment, uh, moment uh, Zhang Hongtu already, how he used the newspaper, the New York Times, as a kind of canvas uh, to, to, to make his work. And this kind of collage technique was quite new, was uh, very different from, from what he did before. Zhang Peli, for instance, he was already a little bit uh, oriented on video, but didn't know it so well. And uh, coming to, Ch to uh, the US, uh, he got so many new ideas. And this piece we show now is a performance piece. And uh, that is, um, maybe only possible because he was in New York. The performance art was at the time very, very important. He got to know video artists who were also quite involved in performance art. As a Chinese person, you immerse in this kind of environment. So Chinese culture also with you. For example, this one, I use soy sauce as background, but the piece of uh, the black image is a, a portion of a great wall. Are made, are made of uh, charcoal. The charcoal and the soy sauce uh, combined of this work. So, of, of course, I can use uh, oil or uh, what color to make the same color, but since the material is different, uh, so material, material becomes meaning, meaningful. When I came here, there was a very close experience. 在這個行為裡邊,我就想通過這種行為的方式,表達我自己對這種大國的一些看法。It's almost like a wall and there's kind of privacy sorry in front of it and but there's a way you can kind of walk around it. So like how you see it in the installation view, you can walk, you know, from the other side and see what's inside of it. The curator of the show shared that such barriers and walls between various cultures should be seen as a screen that the artist can project ideas on and receive reflection from. The result is not only the development and changes to their artistic practices, but also new perspectives on social, political, and cultural circumstances. For more information from Sanovision English Channel, you can find us online at en.sanovision.net or follow our Facebook page at Sanovision Official. <laughs>